Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Today, I wanted to talk about the sound generator, and if you're in your sample mode, uh, you'll know you are, because you'll see like you got like the orange pads, or maybe yellowish pads, whatever you, they look like to you. But if you hold shift and record setting, you can get into sound generator, and you can just start playing sounds. This is a pretty simple tone. It's not, it doesn't have any filter envelopes or anything else. So like a lot of things that you'd expect to get from a synthesizer isn't what you're gonna get here. This is more of a tone generator and you can adjust with control knob one, what you want for the different uh, tones. So we got sine, we've got sine one. It's got a little bit more t uh, timbre to it. Sine two, we've got cosine. Cosine one and two. Saw, which is gonna be like your standard like sawtooth waveform. Saw plus has a little bit more tone to it. Saw two as well. Triangle. Triangle two. We got pulse, which is pretty much gonna be your square wave. And then you got noise one and noise two. So we got like a lot of different things we can work with here. And Again, like this isn't going to be a synthesizer. You, if you want to do synthesis um, without just doing kind of creative sound design, you probably want a synthesizer to hook up to your SP404 Mark II. But if you're just looking to take some general sounds and kind of keep layering them, building them up and making things out of them, Sound Generator is going to be great for that. So um, let's start with a few things you can do here. So again, we're just going to play the tone. You These uh, control knobs, some of them are pretty responsive. So you can play frequency do like pitch sweeps with it if you want similarly if you're looking to kind of just make like a, your own envelope you can play a note and like use control knob three to kind of make your own envelope by hand with uh, the level here and a thing to note because we're doing all this if you hit mark go to your skip back buffer and you'll be able to see in here all the stuff that you want and you can just grab whatever you would like and write it out to a pad if you wanted. So let's say I wanted this. It's just going to be the usual hit record, hit a pad you want to save it to, and now you got it. now you got it. You can go go to town. And we'll go back in now. So shift record settings. We're back in. We can play again. Play that. You can even do. You can even play the um, the oscillator type here. Not like super exciting, but you can do it. Uh, there are a few other settings here. If you hold shift down, um, you've got pad length, and this is basically allows you to write out the pad, and you can write it just out. If you hit, I think it's copy, or is it copy or record? I forget. Uh, record. Uh, we'll do that. And if you hit record again, it's just going to record out like a two second pad for whatever your settings were and you get that not like super exciting but if you're just looking to kind of write things out real quick and you didn't want to go i personally would say use the skip back buffer but uh whatever like kind of works for you do it um so yeah you can adjust the time you can get up to 10 seconds and you can go into like one period or two periods you can go very low with it i i would i found it works a little weird if you go like a little too low like below half a second seems to behave a little differently and then we got panning here and um you got headphones you can hear it's pat panned left right now we can do the same thing and go pan right so if you for some reason you need to kind of pan something that you're working on you got pan as well or they call it balance here um beyond that you can see here where it says prm like that's the parameter Right now you can do scale, we got note. So if you wanna just hit the enter button to move over and you can adjust the setting, we can get into like chromatic, major, minor, Dorian, Phrygian, pentatonic, major and minor. So you get those settings, we'll go major. Um, you got note, so you can, whoop. we've got a uh, note, so you can set um, what note you wanna be in for a scale, which is handy if you wanted to be able to play something in the correct uh, note and scale. 
we got octave, which allows you to kind of go up and down. Like you can go like uh, at minus three, like this is barely audible. I mean, like this is where you're kind of getting into LFO ter territory. You might be able to hear that if you got headphones on. Otherwise, you can go pretty high as well, which is handy. Um, we've also got offset. Um, this, if I remember correctly, is um, I think that's is it just the note offset? Oh yeah, it's just so it's moving where the root note is around on your pads. That's so if you wanted to offset the note on your pads, you can do that. Uh, we got envelope. This one's a little weird. I don't know why they implemented it like this, but these A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 or off. Really, if it's if it's off, basically the oscillator I think is just running in the background all the time, and that this envelope is really only adjusting that very first cycle coming in and how it's going to look. Besides that, the tone's exactly the same. So if you're very sensitive to it, you might hear some pops. Like if you set it to off, I can kind of hear a little bit sometimes there, but yeah, you can play with it, but you're gonna probably find that this does almost nothing. And if you need to get that level, of a single cycle granularity for how it's applying a filter for uh, starting the sine wave. You're probably gonna wanna do this in a DAW or you're gonna just wanna sample this out and go into the start and end point editor and just get zero across. So I don't, I don't know, I don't find it super useful. And then the last one here is tune. If you wanted to tune to something other than a 440, you can go, I think all the way down. Wow, this is gonna take forever because it's doing it in 10, 10 cents. I think it goes down to like 390 or 380 and up to like 480 or something. It's a pretty wide range, but if you're working in a different tuning than 440, you have that there as the ability to go do it and uh, set it to what you are. Now I got my note here. It's from 416 to 464. So I was a little bit off from memory, but I, good thing I wrote it down. So yeah, if you're looking to tune into like an alternate tuning, um, so you can kind of still use your scales, you can do that here um, and then have your uh, tones come out the way that you would like them to. Anyway, guys, I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.